Alright, g'day guys. Today I thought we'd have a look at uh, Roomworks using some uh, functionality that I've not shown before. Um, and that functionality is the Game Sessions feature. So, let's jump over and have a look. Alright, so in Roomworks there's the uh, there's the ability to basically set that you're, uh, you're starting a game session. Alright, so the button's up the top here, it says Begin Game Session. And that's basically stating that I'm sitting down at the table now to start DMing. Um, and anything that I make visible um, through the fog of world functionality, which is these big uh, buttons here. All right. Anything that I make visible throughout my game session, I want to record, and I want to be able to come back and check on that. So, let's go through and let's see what it looks like. We're going to begin a game session. We're going to come up here and we're going to give it a name. Uh, we can come up here and we can say the players completed their dungeon. There's a bit of a note. You can see here you can set uh, a, a real time and an in-game time. All right, and I suspect this functionality here will change once uh, calendars get uh, fully implemented into the program. Then we can click Begin New Session. All right, so now we're in a game session. We're in progress. We're at the table where we're, we're telling our story and we're uh, getting the players to interact as we go. Um, and I guess basically the idea is that we come along um, and we start basically just telling our story. Uh, we might come along here and we might walk our players through some some different locations or make some things visible to them. They find some treasure. Um, we'll find some more treasure. Ooh, a lot of treasure here. I need to read this before my players get in here. Um, and once we're done with the game session, uh, we can click this button and we can end the game session. All right, so we, we save our changes and we end our game session. Um, yes, a game session is done. Okay, so it's a very simple tool to use. Um, I personally struggle with remembering to use it, um, but then again, I've only just started using the real um, Fog of World functionality with my players uh, now that some of them have copies of uh, the Realmworks player version. All right, so just to fully explain what that means is I'm using Realmworks as a dungeon master. My players have player copies and they can log in and they get to see anything that I've marked as green. All right. So for them, this functionality is probably going to be pretty cool because once I've done that, they can now come in here to the reveal history. And via the reveal history, they can come down here and they can go, all right, the start of the last game session and the end of the last game session. All right, and you can see here that basically that then shows them exactly what was there. Whereas if I go from the beginning of time, and this is going to probably put my machine into a not responsive state for a few seconds. Yep, there we go. <laughs> uh, it's displaying a lot of data. It's going back and checking, you know, for the last two to three years that I've been using Realmworks, um, it's checking for everything that's been revealed and, and listing it. All right, and as you can see, there's quite a bit of stuff here. Um, but if I go start the last game session, boom, there we go. Um, they can also come in here and go custom date, so they can find the date that they played, and they can basically set uh, the fact that, you know, they wanted to check up last Sunday we played and what did I learn. And using this, then they can click on the options, and they can basically see uh, what they learned during their session. Now, I'm in my view. Um, if I was to actually go player view, uh, we'll close that, we'll close this. You can see the monsters my players have been fighting. Uh, and if we go to the reveal history as a player, am I in player view? I'm not. Oh no, sorry, enter player mode. I'm clicking the wrong button. Yes, I've done that before. Alright, so it's just changing over to player mode. This effectively makes it look like I, I'm a player. And if I was to come over and basically click on the reveal history, um, I can basically come along and see what the, what I learned during that session. And it's just loading, loading, loading. Really looking forward to um, playing around with import-export a bit more so I can break this realm down. Um, start last game session, end last game session. There we go. So my players can come along. They learnt about the room. They learnt about the treasure. They can't see anything else. All right. So from a player perspective, that's a really cool way to come along and find out about what they learnt um, using the Fog of World functionality. Um, it's literally just designed for them to do a recap. Um, it lets them see very quickly what it is that I, as the DM, have uh, made visible to them. 
uh, for them during that session so they can come back and do their review. Now, if you're looking for something more in depth than that, you, you're looking for a journal system, um, you might be looking over at this journal button here. I can't show you what that does because that's a beta only functionality at this time. Um, but just let it know, let it be known that um, Lone Wolf are working on a, a better journal system. Um, personally, I, I have got a video on using journals um, and you might want to go and have a look at that. Um, you can see here that we've, we actually run journal sessions inside the tool and my players can come along and click any of these and basically see uh, what it is that occurred on here. Um, and yeah, you might want to go and have a look at that. My players are now actually writing the journal sessions and I'm copying them into Realmworks for them and then making them visible so they can, they can see it. Um, using the two tools together, I think you get a really good understanding of um, what occurred during the session, what you learned during the session, um, and it's quite a cool little functionality for you to use. All right. So basically that's what there is to it guys, that's the, uh, that's the uh, game session functionality and the reveal history functionality. Um, if you do have any questions or comments, uh, please ask them in the comments below. Uh, if you do enjoy this video, please subscribe. We did hit 100 subscribers, so thank you very much to all the subscribers. It's great to see people are watching the videos and taking something useful out of it. Um, apart from that guys, we'll see you on the forums. It's going to be a very, very interesting uh, week, I think, um, with a very big patch bringing us out some uh, absolutely amazing functionality. So um, keep tuned. I do have some videos in the pipeline uh, that's going to cover all of the new functionality that comes out with the big patch. So um, keep an eye on the channel and uh, hopefully you guys will be able to learn uh, very quickly and get up and running and do what it is you need to do with your realms. So have a great day. We'll speak to you shortly.